G'day Larry Gang and welcome to the second community video of the channel. I actually quite enjoyed watching this. It was a documentary about Larry vs Barry and it listed a lot of things that I never really thought about properly until it was kind of shoved in my face with this video. And I have to say, I enjoyed watching it, I hope you guys do too. This video is by a guy called Ilix and the YouTube channel will be in the description. The charity he's going to be donating to with the money earned from this video is Doctors Without Borders. Enjoy. Hey, what's up class? Today we're gonna learn about an important conflict that has directly impacted the way our world is shaped today. World War II? The Punic Wars? Tch, <laughs> no. It's a current ongoing conflict between two parties over the internet. Oh, it's, it's Larry vs. Barry. Larry vs. Barry is an interesting internet phenomenon. The meme started through some posts on Reddit. Just a funny little gag being passed around. Wow, it's, it's just like the other one. But Larry had one more subscriber than Barry, which seemed to set something off inside of him. A primal desire to best Larry in YouTube subscribers. So then, the race set off. Barry had a strong lead at first, with Larry trailing far behind. The meme that was posted did in fact advertise towards Barry, so this is no surprise. However, a new foe approaches. The YouTuber Jack Sucks at Life becomes a parent of this trend, and decides to turn the tables. During a livestream, he sends an army in support of Larry. This backup pushes Larry far ahead and leaves Barry far behind. Barry loses his lead and is crushed. But the battle continues, and as the meme spreads, advocates for both sides start showing up everywhere. It's a fairly close race, however the battle is still ongoing. As I record this, Larry is at 200,000 subscribers, and Barry is around 170,000. However, he is slowly climbing his way back up. I have no idea when I'm gonna finish editing this video, so things may have really changed by then. Did Cube World come out yet? Other off-brand Aerie-based channels popped up. These channels are nowhere on the level that Barry and Larry are, but they are still growing at an astounding rate. These channels don't offer much in terms of content, and are just using this event to get some attention. Just like me! You fools, you, you fools have fallen for my scheme! If Larry and Barry were fully developed modern nations, these channels would be the street raccoons living off the trash that we leave behind. But, you never know. Maybe the raccoons will rise up one day and destroy us all. So, what exactly is going on here? Are they just two random channels that decided to fight each other? Or is this completely planned? Well, let's take a look into the Larry vs. Barry canon. In Larry's life story video, he claims that him and Barry were good friends in childhood. They had their differences, and over time, grew to hate each other. Just take this childhood friend that becomes the antagonist starter pack and you basically have what happened. Because Larry was much more successful than Barry, Barry made a YouTube channel so he could win at something. But it's unclear if he can even do that. In Larry's 200,000 special, he is suddenly attacked by Barry. Barry tries to kill Larry using the Infinity Gauntlet. However, Larry pulls out a reverse card last second, turning the tables. Which is clearly a metaphor for the way the tables turn in the beginning of the battle, and definitely not me looking way too much into this. Outside of lore and behind the scenes, there isn't actually much going on. Larry created a video addressing the whole situation and explaining everything. Barry who goes by the username Mr. Headclick, created the channels as a parody of the PewDiePie vs. T-Series situation, and it, it got really out of hand. Larry, who is actually one of Muzelk's editors, was given one of the channels since he has experience with YouTube. From there, both channels blew up way beyond their expectations, and now they're, they're stuck with a pretty massive viewer base. He states that he plans to use the channels for charity, and is going to keep the Larry channel community driven. He also plans to continue the established lore, and states that his explanation video is one of the only serious videos on the channel. Barry also made a similar video, saying that he would essentially do the same thing with his channel, keep it community driven, and take suggestions done by other people. Barry hasn't uploaded since then, but he has live streamed. He has also appeared in one of Larry's videos. Currently, Larry has uploaded some pretty normal gaming content, featuring the people that helped him grow. He has also edited a video for Jack Sucks at Life, meaning that at some point he had to edit a video of him editing a video, and now I'm editing a video of him editing a video. Yeah, this is getting pretty meta. He has also began his series on community videos, which are videos submitted by the viewers and uploaded to the channel. Technically this video is also a community video, 
I'm, I'm getting meta again. Larry and Barry show how quickly the internet can blow something up. At one point, their statistics were so all over the place that they were supposed to get a total of 6 billion subscribers. I think we all know what World War 3 would be about then. As of right now, they are still managing to get thousands of subs a week. In an era of people forcing their way to success, it's great to see people who actually want to give back to the community. Through what was originally just a little joke designed to get a couple orange arrows, it has turned into something magnitudes greater.